What word comes to mind when you think of the earth? For some, that word might be beautiful. Others might say the world is hateful or evil or unstable or full of shit. But above all else, the word that best describes our world is resilient. Against the odds, time and time again, creatures adapt to make the most of their given environment. Some learn to feed on others, stealing their vitality for their own. Some become scavengers, living off what strangers leave behind. And others still, as we will soon see, would prefer to be simply left alone. Please open up. Oh, uh, you're not a bird. Sir, are you the owner of this residence? You mean my shell? Uh, yeah, it's mine. Do you like it? I represent the Royal Duchy of Slacktide, which has recently annexed the territory surrounding and including this tide pool. I'm here to inform you that you have outstanding taxes that date back and upwards of ten tides. If you are presently unable to pay this balance, the duchy will claim your home until you- uh, Hold on. Uh, I've got some questions. First of all, uh, what's a duchy? Also, taxes? Okay. So basically, the Duchess of Slack Tide owns this whole area now. And she puts a lot of effort into keeping it safe. So, everyone who benefits from that has to abide by her rules and pay up once per tide. There's still plenty of birds here. I don't know if it's really safe. Look, kid, I don't have time to argue political nuances here. I've got a lot of tax evaders to get to. You gotta pay up right now, or I'm gonna have to repo your property. Got it? Okay, okay, I think I've got a heart kelp or two around here somewhere. Flow, self, lawbreaker! Oh, crab. I'm sorry. Was I supposed to grab a ticket? You think yourself above the law, but the law is not so easily outwitted. By its strength alone, do we rise above the beasts? Uh, I'm really sorry. I'll go to the back of the line, okay? <laughs> you should be so lucky. I'll have your head like I have these other worthless law breakers.
guys, but your guards are going nuts out there. Oh, Clontre, little hermit. Our minds are clear as crystal now. Oh, Shuck. I once thought my duchy quite beautiful, you know. Worth preserving. But compared to the reefs, it's a shameful, transient thing, destined to wash away. That's why I'm having them tear it down. I thought my beauty worth preserving, too. But of course, my worthless life will wash away as easily as any other. Almost as easily as yours, little hermit! <laughs> Your death will be gorgeous!
you sad, polluted crabs keep coming to this place? I thought I made it clear. There's nothing for you here. Has your sense of self-preservation rotted away, even? Or perhaps you truly wish for death? Well, I'll gladly oblige you, my friend. Square up, devil! You had no respect for this grove! I shall see you to the drain! Deserve your fate, monster. I'll break you apart. Grove long at last, you knave. Cause it were petit crab. Seems like I'm still out of practice. All skills fade with time, I suppose. 
I truly thought I would perish in a cooler weather. Fighting at least, they're not well, guys. Well, you've earned that petite grab. Come, and put my tortured soul to rest. <sighs> I'm not... trying... to kill you! Oh. You could just scuttle in here.
The world these days is dark and mean. Even the water tastes unclean. And even those you love and trust would rip your limbs off if they must. Like Mr. R, the one in charge, who scrapped our homes to build his barge. But don't be gloomy, glum, or sad. Cause down in here, it's not so bad. Save crying for another day. Forget it all. Come on, let's play. Time for a makeover. Well, that wasn't as bad as I thought. <laughs> 
No one even showed up to stop us. I don't like it. Something smells about all this. Roland knew we were gonna show up, so where's all the resistance? It all really stinks of... A trap? Right you are, bottom feeder. See, us civilized folk have rules. As much as I dislike your little modeled crew, it wouldn't be gentlemanlike to have you disposed of without a good reason. But all y'all have just stepped onto my private property without permission. And where I come from, that's a crime called trespassing. I presume you know what we do to trespassers at Shellfish Corp. Inkerton, kill the city folk. Gladly. <laughs> and as for you... I'll send you down the drain myself, you little flatworm! <laughs> It's just business, kid! Allie? Oh, oh shit!
And you're certain we're going the right way? How should I know? Think I spend my weekends here, do you? Well, then what the shuck am I still paying you for? Matter of fact, we're in this mess cause you couldn't defeat a damn lobster! Good for nothing, I should have left you on the seabed where I found you, you little... <laughs> Enjoying the spoils, are you, lad? Proud of what you've done? Uh, look, man, I don't want anything from you. Please just leave me alone. I don't want to fight anymore. Please leave me alone. I don't want to fight anymore. But fight ye did. Just like me. Just like old Linkerton. And down here we've both drifted. Two worthless sinners. Right where we belong. The bottom of the train! Lousy little limpet! This is you.
This is it! This is it, Krill! They all told me it was just a legend! Those buffoons! The perfect world! Do you know what this means, child? The archaeological community will never be the same, I say! With the proper funding, perhaps we can begin to learn the secrets of the ancient hermits! And then it's only a matter of time before... Oh, God damn it! Drivel! Titan! Oh my God! He's... He's dead! You killed him! Time, he says. The old idiot. Time is something we have none of. We're already much too late. Tides upon tides upon tides too late. This ocean was eaten up before I was even an egg. What? Why, why did you do that? You didn't do anything wrong! We are beyond saving. Soon we'll share the same fate as the old ocean. The world has only one use now. To punish this ugly world. To rip it asunder. You think you can wield it? In your complacent claws, it's no better than a rock. And you're no better than them. No better than the ones who ate this world up. To think, we really thought you could be our shell. I could vomit. You are not Titan. How can you stand it? How can you sleep? How can you even breathe? You've seen how this ocean's been maimed. The agony it's in. The future that was stolen from us. You've seen everything we wanted you to see. So where's your anger? Where is your rage? Doesn't this pain boil you inside, little crab? Doesn't it just make you want to shocking scream? I'll kill you!
rest of this ocean! him. The old man who never raised a claw against me. I was the strong, wielding death against the weak. There is no salvation for me now. It wasn't you, Kitan. It was whatever that thing was, uh, making you evil. A great confluence of damned souls. <laughs> a grim slurry of umami. My body moved at its whim, true. But the anger was mine. The hate was mine. Without it, it could not have taken me as a shell. Stop talking! You're, you're going to be okay, all right? Perform me a favor, vagabond. My anger was too much for me, but do not let it vanish. If you can, take my anger with you and wield it where it is needed to protect this world. Stop it! Stop talking like you're going to die! I didn't even... I didn't even like you guys when I met you, but but I don't want you to go. I, I don't want to be alone again. The confluence was wrong. There's still time to save this ocean. I must believe this. <laughs> even if it is a lie, I will believe it. <laughs> Until the day this all ends. Wait, wait, wait. That old guy was saying that shell has a lot of magic in it, right? I'll just put it on. Maybe I can heal you. Uh, Krill. Just, just stay right there. I'll be right... Ah! Whoa, what happened? I put on this cool looking shell and for some reason I feel super great now. Like I could take on the whole ocean. Kind of like anything I want can become reality, you know? This is going to change everything. I'm going to be a hero. Blue... Firth, I need that shell to save Kitan. Can I put it on for a second? Kitan, who's that? Whatever you need, it can wait, pal. I'm thinking big right now, and my big things are gonna save New Carcinia. Yeah, yeah, that's a great idea. Great thinking, me. Let's do it. What? Oh, no, 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 no. Just stay right there, Kitan. I'll be right back. Hey there, pal. No hard feelings about our little disagreement earlier, right? My new powers are crazy. I just moved this whole island directly over New Carcinia. Looks like Trash Day came early. Pretty cool, right? Firth, I really need that shell. Kitan's hurt bad. I'll tell you who's hurt bad. The economy. That's who. With Roland gone and Scuttle poured out of commission, our whole city's gonna completely collapse. And not only that, folks are starting to say the trash we've been using is physically harmful to us. Who would have thought? But it's all gonna be okay. Now that I'm the god of this ocean, I've got a super genius three-step plan to save everyone. Step one, sink Trash Island onto New Carcinia, eliminating the whole concept of Trash Day. A permanent economic boom, what's better than that? You're going to cover this city in trash? Can we just talk about this? 
I just need to borrow the world for a minute. Step two, use that trash to usher new Carcinia into a second golden age. You'll see technology advance beyond your wildest dreams. You're not listening to me. And step three. With all that new tech, we'll form a plan to make New Carcinia's economy more sustainable. We ought to be able to start using 20% less trash within the next 200 tides or so. You thought I forgot about that part, didn't you? But I'm a caring guy. If you dump more trash on the reef, aren't they just gonna get gonked faster? And... and, and I still need to save Chitin! So give me that shell! I'm not going to let you do this! That's the cool part about being a god. I don't need you to let me do anything. It's just gonna happen. resorting to physical violence to take down an honest business crowd. No need to get angry, pal. You're only gonna get yourself hurt. I'm not! I... I am getting angry, aren't I? I think maybe... I've been angry the whole time. Ever since I left the tide pool. I never wanted to be. Everyone else seems angry all the time. I didn't want to be like that. But I can't help it. Not when people like you always get everything you want and other people get hurt for it. It's not fair. And I'm really strong now. Strong enough to stop you from making things worse. You really are quite whiny, you know? If you're gonna fight me, quit the sob story and just do it. I've got an empire to build here. Come on, do it! Hit me! Don't be a coward!
This thing's downright overpowered! Put that on! I think I get what Kite meant now! Krill, hold on! Let's talk about this like adults! If I'm gonna be angry, I might as well use it for something good! So that maybe, one day, other people won't have to fight like me! And what better way to start than to beat up a selfish, greedy... Muscle shocker like yeah! wait, 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 wait. comes to mind when you think of the earth this world is resilient but not endlessly so as this earth spins ever faster towards its uncertain future all will face that future in their own way some will fight for the world they dream of blade in hand some will spend their whole lives saving others from falling through the cracks. And others still will never rest in one place for long. As this fragile world begins to fracture, no matter how large or small, the one thing no creature can afford is complacency. But though history talks of warriors and heroes and great mighty crabs that shook the world, it is the thankless deeds that shall ever make that world worth man, fighting for. I hoped you might clean up the mess I made and with some time and rubbing alcohol the stains on.